mazee hii dunia itakuja kunionyesha mambo. Juzi tu nikiwa pale ma online napiga shughuli zangu, nimestumble na site fulani inaitwa credo.com, yani c r a y d e l.com. Niko na wase wako na kitu inaitwa career match assessment. Yani unapiga ka assessment pale fulani unajua what would you have become in your life. Unanielewa? Eh sasa nikapiga ile assessment pale eh nikapata results zingine pale eh eh ni ngori but before that wacha nikupeleke kwa career life yangu kutoka ile siku mazini nilianza kupiga mboka mpaka saa hii hiyo jani imekuwa namna gani kila mzee akiwa mtoi anakuwa na dreams ya ile kitu anataka kukua akigrow up kama mimi e, nilikuwa na dreams nilikuwa nataka kuwa pilot pilot unajua nikiwa mto hii pale ucha kuna kale kandege kalikuwa kanapanda huko juu kana wacha moshi moshi huko nyuma alafu watu wengi pale ucha walikuwa natuambia hiyo ndege sijui ni ya kupima weather wasi wengine wanasema hiyo ndege sijui ati inatoka nga hivi na smoke na cha smoke ndio ionyeshe hizo ndege zingine zile nje ile njia zitapitia so nilikuwa nataka kusema ah mimi nataka kuoboria kwa huko juu ana fly na ndege. So I wanted to be a pilot. But journey ya mimi kuwa pilot ilianzia pale Karembu Nursery School, pale Gidhioro. Hapo nilienda Nursery School nikiwa 4 years. That was in 1990 kwa Moles Mbaya. Guka yangu na shosho yangu walikuwa wanasema, "Eh, huyu mtu ni bright." So venye kuka kuna ile intake sasa ya watu kwenda primo pale ngenda primary school nikapelekwa nikiwa na miaka tano pale primary nikapiga 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 masomo eh hey, hey. class 8 1998 nikapiga 464 marks out of 700 mara hiyo hiyo nikaitwa shule inaitwa Mororia High School form 1 form 2 nilicheza sana nilikuwa na mchezo tu bado sijajielewa nakumbuka hormones zinanisumbua ile last term ya form 2 ndio nikakumbuka eh hey, hey, hey. bado muko mu utakakuwa pilot hapo ndio nikachangamuka hiyo exam tulipiga hiyo time nilipiga hiyo mwaka ilifuata that is 2001 nikakuwa the best improved student juu hiyo time nilikuwa nakula tu madaudi magidhafu ma physics ma nini ma nini ndio nikakumbuka hey, ma pilot lazima wakuwe watu wa bright so nikaanza kusoma form 3 pale nikakuwa na mind discipline kidogo hii nikachujua tamu mzima hey, alafu nikarudi nikarudi kurudi nikagula mbuku mtu yangu mbuku mbuku index tukafanya pale nikakuwa index 3. Eh tukamaliza hiyo. Moki kakuja, nikupiga kupiga. Ikakuja ile kitu tunaita KCSE. Kijana wa Gadhoni akapiga A minus. Kumbuka bado nataka kuwa pilot. Lakini saa hiyo nilikuwa naanza kufikiria ah, pilot ah, kidogo kidogo kuna ma motivational speakers walikuwa wamekuja pale shule na watu pia walikuwa alumina students. Wamekuja wakasema ah saa ile kitu inakula sana ni bcom ama low sasa kidogo nikaacha na ile pilot kidogo nikaanza kusema eh hey, pilot ni kama wacha ni eh hey. alafu nilikuwa nafanya accounting na accounting mtu yangu ilikuwa straight a sasa kupata i minus hmm? pale sasa nataka kufanya bcom nime apply pale kuna mafom sulikuwa tunajazanga hiyo time so nilikuwa nimejaza the university of nairobi so ile kitu ilikaa maze ile barua yangu E, kuna kuna body flani kwa inaitwa JAB Joint Admissions Board ambao ndio walikuwa na select watu mimi nilikuwa nataka kwenda Luaka Bete kufanya Bcom kidogo kidogo ikakuja ikiwa kitu tofauti nikapata nimeitwa Bachelor of Arts hata hakuwa nakwambia Bachelor of Arts ni nini ni Bachelor of Arts ukienda pale campus uchague wewe unataka kufanya nini e, mpaka nikaenda nga huko nakumbuka tulina na madha jo namwambia enda mazee ubonge nao ma registrar mimi nataka kufanya Bcom mazee ile accounting option kwenda wakasema weighted average yako ni 46.94 na bcom unachukua 47 maze nikauliza yani 0.06 ndio itafanya nifanyie wakasema sasa chagua kitu kingine hapo ndo kachukua economics political science na madhafu kumbuka madhafu ilikuwa bado ni kare ni a so fast forward nilikuwa pale kampo nikapiga masomo yangu e, second year nikachagua economics na political science double major na nikasonga nazo kasonga nazo nikasonga nazo nikadebua tuka graduate 2008 lakini after hapo ni sawa e, nimepata nimegraduate 
kumbuka kijana alikuwa anataka kuwa pilot sahi ame change mind alikuwa anataka kuwa accountant ameenda campus haizi fanye hiyo course so ime bili nipige economics and political science so sasa nilikuwa nishafika ile level ile nimalize course ile job itajipa iko tu sawa nipate kazi lakini kabla sasa nimeanza kutuma ma CV kuna besti yangu naitwa nda huo tulikuwa tuna beti naeta au tunatuma ma CV zingine mob sana na besti yangu mwingine aitwa Sly kuna beti cyber fulani pale 20th century ma CV tu tunatuma tuna graduate tunatuma lakini hiyo time pia kuna mori wangu anaitwa Baros akanishikanisha na Kajob ni kuwe manager wa club hmm? manager wa club kuna club ilikuwa pale View Park Towers ilikuwa inaitwa Surf and Bites sasa nikakuwa bar and restaurant manager eh? nikapiga hapo miezi kama nne <coughs> nikitafuta kazi nikitafuta kazi hiyo time mimi bar and restaurant manager bado mimi ni broker pale town ukitaka service yoyote ambayo unajua mtu anaweza kusaidia unakuja pale kwa bar napiga simu moja mbili unapata documents ama ile kitu ungetaka kupata Yaani nilikuwa broka hatari wa town. Kidogo kidogo CV moja kuna madhangu akabonga na mzee fulani. Eh kidogo kidogo ni nini? Nikapata wax ya bank. Ba manager broka sasa nikaingia bank pale Equity Bank. Eh nilikuwa na jina nyingine matata inaitwa Relationship Officer. Hmm? Katumo wapi? Murarandia, one of their early branches huko Muranga County ndani huko sana. E, sasa hiyo barabara hazikuwa fiti lakini sasa hii ni matata barabara iko fiti. So nikaenda huko nikapiga wax 3 months huko. Ilikuwa ni nilingia wax huko June 2009. Nipiga hivi ni nini? Sasa kabla niende huko nilikuwa nimeapply kufanya masters ya political science and public administration. So kale kabarua ka masters kakakuja nikaongea na baadhi na branch manager akamwambia mzai ona jo nimepata admission juu nataka mimi ni mtu nataka jenga inji so kidogo kidogo akabonga na HR kidogo kidogo nikarudi tao one of their branches in Nairobi kurudi eh, ikakuwa sasa huko nilikuwa mtu wa customer service kukuja huku nikakuwa clerk yani sasa pale mtu wa mapesa ukipiga mapesa bank hiyo time lazima uachome balance hesabu zako zote so tulikuwa tunatoka bank solid so sikuweza kujoin ile course yangu ya masters in public administration and political science so e, kidogo kidogo nikaanza kujam morale yangu lakini bado niko mazee mimi si mtu wa design sijielewi nataka kuwa nini e, pilot oi accounting oi zote unanielewa lakini bado niko kwa pesa kumbuka so after three months tena nikiwa tao sasa pale pale community equity ya community I decided to resign. Nika resign job. Eh, nikasema eh kwanza na kumkali resign birthday yangu. Nikasema eh wacha tu ni resign kwanza nielewe mimi nataka kufanya nini maisha yangu. But kuna tu vitu nilikuwa nafikiria kulikuwa na maidea. Nilikuwa nataka kuanzisha website inaitwa whatshappening.co.ke. Nikaanza na mumuri wangu wawili. Tukapiga tukapiga 2010, 2011, 2011 nikaenda anga area fulani nikapata nanga na wazito wa NMG Nation Media Group kwa summit fulani pale iHub nikabonga tu na wazito nikawaambia eh hey, mimi napiga ngai shughuli website yangu ya my events tunafanya hivi tunafanya hivi ah ule Morio mzito alikuwa anaitwa Linus Gitahi CEO hiyo akasikiza eh hey, huko jana ni kama akona maidea akaniambia kuja ofisini ubonge na mtu XYZ nikaendanga huo mtu kidogo kidogo akani frustrate Alafu tena ni reach out kwa ule Linus Gitai tena. Alikuwa CEO Nation Media Group hiyo time. Akaniambia sasa talk to XYZ mtu fulani. Huyo mtu alikuwa anaitwa Ian Fernandez. Eh? Wao alikuwa managing director wa digital department Nation Media Group. Alafu alikuwa na GM wake anaitwa Agusti Kante. Sasa hao ndio wakanisaidia. Nikaenda nika present proposal wakasema ni aje tunanunua hii website yako na pia tunakupatia job ukuja ufanye in our digital department as a product analyst. Buti yangu umesikia hiyo story eh? Na kabla niendelee sana, nikiran site yangu ya what's happening bado nilikuwa DJ, nilikuwa naitwa DJ Shizo Manizo, eh? eh? nilikuwa nacheza club nyingine hapo next eh, na eh, pale Flying Squad Pangani. 
But let me go back to Nation Media Group. Tukauza website nikapata wera pale. Sasa product analyst digital. Ah mtu yangu sasa digital unajua kunanga training nikapiga first year product analyst digital second year nikakuwa promoted senior product analyst digital third year nikafanywa brand manager digital department nation media group kijana pia amejaribu eh sasa nimeanza kujua eh i think sasa mimi ni sasa ni mtu wa digital i think this way i should focus but deep down in my mind niko bado sijajielewa what do i really want to do with my life and then facebook were launching a video a platform on their platform so nafikiria hii kitu sinaweza set nianza kufanya ma content nation pia ikafika mahali nikasikia pana inabidi nisonge the reason why i was in the marketing department nilikuwa naona ma agency zinakuja ku present proposals wanakuja wanasema hii mnafaa mkila launch product flani mnafaa kufanya hivi mwe nikasema au agency ni akina nani kwani siwezi enda mahali wanafanya issue guli nijue ni nini na and that's why nika apply job ku join pale scan group kulikuwa na agency yao ya digital ngeto squad digital nikaonanga ka kitu pale online nika apply wera sasa hiyo nime resign nation kidogo kidogo nikapata simu mazee nikaenda nikafanya interview kuna muri yule alikuwa anaitwa eh, Barat Tavares kanifanyia interview yeye akaona huyu kijana anaweza unaona na hivyo ndio nilikaingia pale agency kwa advertising sasa nitoka media nimeingia advertising sasa ni kuelewa hii game uchezwaje inaenda ngaje inaenda ngaje in my second year eh, eh, kulikuwa our ceo pale school digital ama yule alikuwa mdosi alikuwa anaitwa Manish Sardana Manish alikuwa anasikia tu huyu kijana anakuwa anga account manager hapa eh, by the way yeye eh, bado ni creative utengeneza ma video online juu sasa nilikuwa nazitengeneza bado nikipiga wera hiyo napiga wera monday to friday sunday tunaingia na watu wangu tuna shoot ma video tunaweka So kidogo akaavuza kuwa na akini interest huyu kijana anafanya nini so kukatokea project nyingine kubwa sana ya KCB ya app campaign akaniitanga akaniambia wewe unatengeneza ngama video hebu andika script za hii campaign nikaandika ma script nikaandika ma script nikaandika ma script nikaandika ma concept siku moja akanitanga kwa ofisi yake akaniambia hizi vitu tume present zimeweza kwa client mbaya lakini ndio ufanye hii campaign kama face hii campaign itabidi uache wera and that's how niliachanga kuwa employed huo mori alipusha akaniambia wewe enda huko ucreate enda huko upige shughuli enda huko uhasul enda huko wewe ni jemu ule msee na juu sasa hii umeji realize enda enda ufanye hiyo shughuli and the reason i tell this story ni because watu wengi sana wa young wako confronted na hiyo kitu ya nitakuwa nini nikiguru hapo eh au jielewi because most of our career choices si ufanya because of family pressures society mabisto wako nakwambia hii course itaweza nini nini unaona so au kwangi unajielewa until ufike point fulani but ni watu kidogo sana hujielewa because there is no scientific way of discovering yourself i know so many people wenye wanapiga mawira na nini but msia najua by the way mimi I wish ningekuwa nafanya xyz. So ile credo.com ni mtandao iko online ni space yenyewe kila mtu hii mwenye ako high school anaweza piga a career match assessment. Career match assessment. Yaani anapiga tu ka test pale ni nini weka ni mzazi unamwambia yeye piga hii piga hii credo.com career match assessment. Ama mtu yeye yenyewe anapiga anapiga unaanza yani ni kitu yani inapiga iko na critical thinking, analytical skills, interest ni nini. Ule mtu hii anaweza kujielewa, eh ni aje? Mimi nafaa kuwa nini? Nafaa strength zangu ziko wapi? Interest zangu ziko wapi? Ndio kabla hata maliza hiyo form 4, wewe kama mzazi ushaanza kupata idea mtoi wangu anafaa kuwa XYZ. Mtoi wangu anafaa kuwa hivi. Mtoi wangu anafaa kuwa hivi na hivi. Juu sahi mazee kuna makosi mingi sana zimetokea kuna ma developer sasa unasikia msi akisema mimi ni developer unasikia mwingine yeye ni creative mwingine anasema sijui ni mtu wa client service yani kuna ma jobs zingine zimekumulia sijui UX developer mwingine ni designer kumbe mtoi wako ako eh anaweza kuwa hizo vitu lakini wewe umemwambia eh 
Yani ukuwe daktari, enda siju ukuwe pilot, enda ukuwe engineer. Na of course, we need all those people. But why not use a, a scientific way and discover what really your kid should be ama anafaa kutanga. Ndiyo hata ukimake choices za uni unajua nda mpeleka uni hapa local ama nda mpeleka uni ya majuu. Ama kuole anafaa kwenda hivi. Ama huyu acha tumrushe tivet pale afanye mambo yake. Ama huyu ataenda hii kuole. Unaona? Inasaidia to make the best career decisions in our lives. Sasa nikiingia pale credo.com eh yeah, ni mwambie hiyo site ni ya nini watu yangu. Nikapiga ile test, piga test, mpiga test. Resort zimekuja zinasema nini ungefaa kupiga career in agriculture and natural resources. Oh hiyo option nyingine ikakuja ungefaa kufuata kitu ya law and order. Hiyo kitu kingine ikasema management and marketing. And let me tell you something at least sasa hii life in many place kwa hiyo eh, nini career ya marketing niko kwa hiyo yani nacheza hapo kwa marketing. So mimi naweza encourage mazee eh, pale pale mtaani. Kama unaweza fanya hiyo test hata kama wewe pia fanya test ujue hii by the way mimi ningekuwa mimi venye nilikuwa nafikiria hiyo time ningekuwa nini na ndio maana mimi nasema ingieni pale credo.com ucheki juu kama inge exist time yangu yeah, labda ningejua kitambo nafaa kuwa jemu ule mseni 